Using the clone tool in Corel Photo Paint is a great way to remove unwanted objects. So I have this image here that I took of myself and my son and his friend Gia uh, did a little photo bomb in the background which is very cute for maybe something on Facebook but not for something I want to engrave. So what I can do is I can get my clone tool. Now the tool is listed here in this area right here. It's a default of the red eye removal tool. But If I use the little drop down in the corner I can select clone tool. So what I need to do is select an area that I will use to cover up the area I don't want. So I'm going to click on the grass over here on the right and now I can start coming in here and removing, or not actually removing, but I'm covering the area. Now I do have to keep track on the right where it is going um, and I'll show you that in a second. So if I come down here over too far, I go into my hat and then it starts covering black over on the left side. So you have to be careful of that. I can zoom in so that I am sure to get nice and close to my son's shirt. Cover it all. You can change the size. Right here I can make it larger and it would cover up quick or I can make it smaller to get into those uh, tight nooks and crannies. And you, you notice here it's not turning green. Why? Because it's on my hat. So I have to start over, just click off the tool, come back, select a new patch, and then I can get back in there. And why isn't it covering here? Well, it's off the grid. So you just have to be careful as to where You've clicked. I got my son's ear accidentally, so I'll do a control Z. Easy to undo. And I'll go back down to my size 25. And I can see right here I've got a little differentiation in the shading. So I can correct that. I can get more of a medium color green and kind of go in and blend, make sure everything looks nice. And that's using the clone tool in Corel Photo Paint. For more information or to sign up for your free trial, visit laserU.com.